Should you back fit to print? Yes. But before I tell you why, my name is Sam, this is Should You Back It, and I'm here to help you crowdfund with confidence. Fit to Print is a stunning, incredibly cute strategy board game for one to six players that plays in 15 to 30 minutes, where you and the other players compete to create the best newspaper front page possible in order to prove yourself the most newsworthy editor. As always, before we talk about gameplay, let's do a risk assessment on the company behind this game. Whenever we do back something on Kickstarter or any crowdfunding platform for that reason, it's always important to do some research on the company itself. See how their past projects went, see how they handled everything, and just to get a sense of what our experience could be backing this game. Fit to Print is made by Flat Out Games, and this is the fourth game they've brought to Kickstarter and includes some games you may have heard of, including Cascade and Coleco. Their most recent game is still fulfilling. If you check the comments of that campaign, you'll see people are receiving it. It was estimated for delivery in September from the original campaign, so being off by a little over a month is, is actually pretty good in crowdfunding circles. It seems like they've got an incredibly experienced team working on this game, and from what I've seen, Scene, Flat Out Games has a stellar reputation in the board gaming community, so this campaign gets a thumbs up from me from a risk assessment point of view. Gameplay in Fit to Print is incredibly simple. You'll pick up tiles from the centre of the table and decide to keep them or put them back, and you'll keep doing this and stack them on top of your little 3D desk until you think you have enough to go to the layout stage. When you're ready, you'll say layout and proceed to the layout stage where you'll arrange your chosen tiles on your front page board. Tiles of the same type can't touch and your goal is to minimise the white space and balance your paper's mood. You get mood points either positively or negatively equal to the amount that you would see on your articles that are on your front page as each one will have a smiley or sad face rating. And at the end of the game, the player with the smallest amount of empty space will gain points while the player with the largest amount will lose points. When you're done with your layout, you'll say done, you'll go to print, and you'll tally up your points. You score points from your articles based on their size, your photos based on what articles they're next to, and your centerpiece based on how well you completed its objective. The game plays over three escalating rounds and you can try the game right now over on Tabletopia. You'll find a link to it on their Kickstarter page. There's a ton more to love about this game, including a solo mode, a puzzle mode, and a turn-based mode, which just helps this game be even more accessible. The core pledge for Fit to Print is $29. Shipping to here in the UK is 13, which from a pricing point of view makes this a very affordable game whose theme and style means that it'll be easy to bring this to the table with my friends who love board gaming and do so regularly, as well as my family or some of my friends who are new to board gaming. For me, that's the purpose this game will have in my collection, and for that reason, I'd happily say that this is a game you should back if you too are looking for fun games to convert more of your friends and family to this hobby. If I did have one concern about the game, I would say that it's solely that I wonder how many plays of this game it would take for it to become steel or feel samey. Let me know what you think of that down in the comments below. But as always, this is my recommendation. Hopefully you feel a little bit more informed. If you find it helpful, I'd love it if you could hit the subscribe button. I'm a new channel and your support really does help.